how do you how do you sum that up? Because that gave it everything, particularly towards the end. I th- honestly, I'm still speechless. I know I've just came out after the dressing room. I'm absolutely gutted, to be honest with you, uh, because I can down to ten men uh, to try and kind of change up the formation again. Uh, second half, we came out. We've got a well on Storm, but I don't think Andy created too much against us. We've got two banks of four behind the ball. Tam worked his shift. We made a few uh, substitutions. Brock on at the top end of the pitch, and I thought the substitution contributed to the game uh, massively today. So full credit to every one of them. Uh, but I'm um, honestly, I'm same again, like, I'm devastated to be because I'm gutted for the boys because they put in a great shift. We go 2 1 up uh, and we lose a, a goal where the boy steps inside the pitch, it's a longer shot, it deflects off Rory's legs and finds itself in the back of the net. Uh, but listen, that's the things that happened to us now, and it's probably happened most of the season. But we're just looking for that wee bit of luck, and I don't really think we've got that now. Uh, but as I say, I'm no, no complaints whatsoever because our endeavour, our work rate, I've, I've Everything was here to see today, and even when we went down to 10 men, we're still trying to pass the ball, we're still trying to do the right things in the final third, and, and that could feel good to other boys. You talk about <laughs> gutted, but actually, that second half performance, surely you can take something from that down to 10 men, and arguably, I thought, it's going to look hungry in the two seasons, isn't it? Yeah, 100%, that's, 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 that's what we're, we're trying to achieve here, I know I keep saying that, but, but that's what I want my teams to be, we want them to be hungry and have that desire to go and run that extra yard and go and help your team out. Uh, and today I thought they'd done that, uh, but unfortunately we've came here, let's listen, and they're a good team, uh, to come away from here a point on a day, but just the manner, the manner we've obviously lost the goal when we took two, 2 one up, 87 minutes and we lose a goal. Uh, but listen, same again, full credit to every one of the boys, I thought they worked a corner and unfortunately we just didn't see it out. So many red cards, what's your... Well, listen, I'm not going to get involved in red cards. Uh, the referees have made a decision. Uh, it's probably handbags. I'm going to have to see it back before I can comment on it. But for me, there's, there's not much in it uh, between the two of them. Uh, it maybe got to show a wee bit more savvy in that situation. But as I say, I'm not really wanting to sit here and slag lighting referees without actually seeing it. Ross Smith got his uh, first goal for the club today. Yeah, that's that's a landmark right. for a young man. Yeah, definitely. Listen, watch him again. He, he worked his shift and had to get him off by uh, with half an hour to go. Uh, and he could have scored just before he came off again with his head up, you know what I mean? <laughs> that would be something that that would be something that books at the first school that I had. Exactly, aye. Right. <laughs> uh, but same again, the boys are finding themselves in the right areas. Uh, and to score two goals away from home with, with ten men is uh, is pleasing yeah, for myself, yeah. but we just sure obviously need to kinda of find that one in way to get the three points. And two all we, two all we hit the woodwork again. See, that's a lot of over. The cross would come in and hit the, hit, the, yeah. hit the bar and come out again. That's right as well. Obviously, Matty got down the right hand side uh, and put a cross in. And if it's up the other end, they probably find itself in the top corner. <laughs> uh, but as I say, it's just not falling for us now. Uh, and just the wee decision with Matty, the back stick. Uh, a, the, the linesman declared them offside. And I don't. I don't think he was offside because uh, he came. He came from behind them, and the, the linesman probably sees Matt Yates first before he actually sees the defender because he's came at the back of him. Uh, and just another one. It's just not went away today. But listen, full credit to every one of the players. Uh, I thought they contributed to the game on the whole. Or even if it was a case of getting in behind the ball, and it's difficult to play against ten men sometimes. And sometimes teams maybe come away three or four nil winners. Uh, but today, I say, I thought every one of the four gone. And I should say in a minute or two, every sub that came on today seemed to make a difference second half. Yeah, hundred percent. Listen, that's that is obviously. There's competition for places all, all over the pitch, so if, if people's not at it during Tuesday, Thursday night, unfortunately they're going to find themselves in the stand or, or on the bench, so they need to, they've got that, that's what me, Duff, Robbo, Tomo, everybody's trying to kind of get competition for places at the club and making sure that they're, they're fighting for their place every week, uh, and today you can see that and listen, hopefully we can uh, continue building forward and uh, keep picking up more points. You, you must have played many times when you've gone down to 10 men and sometimes it picks you up. Yeah, listen, probably when I was... Spirit uh, kicks in. When when it was me, uh, I was probably maybe the one that was sent off. So I, was, I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't actually you know, in, in the team with the 10 men. But no, I, I know what you're saying. Listen, it's, it's difficult to take in a play against 10 men because it is hard, but you just get two backs and four and the striker just basically 
had them down centre half. So it's a difficult one to play against. But as I say, I thought we handled breaking down to ten men really, really well. Uh, and we do it. We can kind of overloads and things like that training as well. So it was uh, it was pleasing on my behalf. Yeah. I mean, you got a full bench like that, Jamie. It means you get options and switching things about. You can change things as you need to. Yeah, that's that's the thing. And I always said that to the, the chairman as well. It's good to have numbers. And at the start of the season, maybe with some injuries, COVID cases, and things like that, you're know, looking around. There's maybe one. I had to put myself in the bench and things like that as well. And that's not really what we want. And now you look at the bench now, uh, and today obviously. Josh Rennie was unfortunate enough to find his cell that he was restricted to. Uh, so, and same again, Shifty's going to be back next week, so there's going to be two people uh, on in the stands next week. So that's that's obviously a decision for me I've got to make as a manager. And if people are not performing the training, then they're not going to be involved. And then that, that's not me saying Josh has not been performing. He's probably just found himself unfortunate enough to be to be in the stand today. Uh, but listen, it's up to sell now. He can go and knuckle down and try and get himself back in back in the team. Uh, and that's that's what I'm hoping to see him Tuesday night. You are talking about next week. I just wanted to ask you that League Two is getting pretty interesting and pretty messy with some of the results today. Steny winning at Stirling, Albion Rovers winning at Edinburgh. We're at Edinburgh City next. Friday night. Um, I, I'm just guessing that makes it all the more important you go to these places and actually repeat what the Rovers have done and yeah, try get some points. I was, I was up at the Edinburgh City Albion game last night as well, so taking some notes and things like that as well. And I thought Albion Rovers were well deserved a 4 0. I could remember reading a bit more, and that's not me kind of putting a boot in Edinburgh City because uh, I thought Albion uh, imposed herself really, really well uh, throughout the game. Uh, and it could have been more, but listen, we have obviously gone up to Edinburgh City, obviously Burnley's missing uh, and things like that next week as well. So Sam came in, done well again today. So listen, he's, Burns is obviously going to be missing from about three games now, uh, depending on obviously zero, serious double play, uh, but we'll just have to kind of monitor that situation. Uh, and as you say, it's, it's heating up nicely, so we just need to listen, concentrate ourselves, no concentrate at the top of the table, at the bottom of the table, we just need to keep working away, chipping ourselves and hopefully we'll, we should be okay at the end of the season. Thanks, Jamie.